This week's guest is the UK's foremost minor internet hit singer-songwriter, Cunt and the Gang. How are you, man? Yeah, I'm all right, thanks. But can, can I put in front of that former, former. foremost minor former. internet hit singer? Because now I'm, I'm sort of I'm, I'm currently a sort of unemployable one it wonder, just in that kind of limbo between being a one it wonder and an unemployable two it wonder. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that that awkward grey area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I I mean I'll I'll definitely have to get you back on in the future to talk about the rest of your career because. Uh, uh, during lockdown, I uh, I was going to say read, but that would be a lie. I listened to your uh, audio book, I Cunt. Yeah. And it's, it's, I, easy, it's easier than putting any effort in, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I, I could just have <laughs> you tell me the stories. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so so we'll have to get you on in the future to talk talk about some of that, that stuff. But for now, we'll focus on what you're doing at the minute because people will know you for like fuck sticks and perverts on the internet, lonely wank in a travel lodge. And uh, <laughs> last year you tried to get um, a song to number one for Christmas. Uh, Boris Johnson yeah. is a fucking cunt. I'm gonna have to be careful how many times we say that, but. <laughs> um, and well, you got... Once you've said it once, it's just opened the floodgates. I think anyone that's gonna be offended by it is already gone. Yeah, I, I think as soon as I said cunt in the gang, some people are like, nah, <laughs> you um, didn't do you didn't do the k disclaimer that it's with a k so that makes it okay um and you got you got to number five last year so uh what are you doing this year we're in, we're in the middle of the run-up to the the christmas number one uh week so what are you up to this year well yeah we're about we're about 48 hours away from the christmas chart being announced and um this year's song uh, he's called Boris Johnson. He's still a fucking cunt. And uh, I, I did think long and hard about whether to do it and whether everyone would be tired after the effort we put in last year to get a song called Boris Johnson is a fucking cunt to number five in the charts. And then fundamentally, a year later, he's still there. The lies have got worse. The corruption's fucking worse. And he's still there trying to do the smoke and mirrors thing of telling us all to move on, even though, you know, we want him to be able to accountable for all the fucking corrupt, rot, rotten, unfair, unjust, unjust things he's done. Um, so it was that. It was that. Just the fact that here we are, a year on, nothing's fucking changed, and you've got to keep chipping away at these things because you're not going to knock him down with one blow. You know, it's, it's going to be a collective effort uh, to to get rid of him. You know, and I'm not saying we're going to get rid of him and then everything will be OK, because it will probably just that cunt will step down and another cunt will step up to take his place. But we can only deal with the cunt in hand. And, and there he is at the moment. So, let's yeah, let's, let's do our best to just show him up for what he is, which is just basically a fucking lying sociopath. Yeah, definitely. And, and like, do, do you feel that like... Um doing it through sort of comedy and uh, doing it in a silly way is 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 a good way of getting people on board with the message <laughs> do you know what i think um it's it's very it's very hard to say i i think it will put as many people off as it does get them interested and there's definitely something to be said for um not using expletives when you're trying to express yourself because it instantly turns off a massive chunk of the audience. But that's how I've always done it. And I'm too long in the tooth to go about trying to do it another way. But so, something I do think uh, it, it, it runs, runs in its favour is it's a very clear message. I'm not, I'm not going in uh, on the song, we're in and out within a minute. I'm not going into why he's a cunt because that's a discussion for another day. And that's, you know, that's your personal, you know, everyone will have lots of reasons why they think he's a cunt, their own personal reasons. Um, so, you know, to, to get a song across to people, I'll just try and give a very clear, direct message. Yeah. I mean, it's playing it with his own game, really, because he likes his little slogans and repeating his little slogans over and over oh, again. Oh, fuck, fuck me. Get, get Brexit done. Oven ready deal. Levelling up. Like, but they're all just bollocks. They are all just hollow slogans. Where I think this one is a slogan that has got some weight to it. Boris Johnson is still, in capital letters, a fucking cunt. He was a fucking cunt last Christmas and he's still a fucking cunt this year. Yeah. You know, and even when we get rid of him, he'll still be a fucking cunt. Yeah. I'm going to keep, keep the website going, you know. Whatever he's doing, 
still a fucking cunt. Yeah, and it, it was a it was a cunt long before he was um, prime minister, long before he was an MP. You know, he he was a cunt before any as any of us have, had heard of him. You know, because pr- probably his dad was a cunt and he hung around with a bunch of cunts, and no one ever no one ever said to him, "You're being a cunt, mate." And so he's just seen that as carte blanche to just carry on being a cunt. And here we here we all are with him running the country, being a cunt. And no one in his party seems to tell him he's a cunt either. So someone's got to say it. Yeah, you've got to be the one to do it. Well, I, I don't want I don't want this responsibility. If someone else wants to do it, please fucking someone else do it. But you know, I'm just trying, I'm just trying to do my bit to get rid of him. And I think if we all do a little bit, you know, on the on the social media, because you know, there's still large swathes of the media are trying to, you know, push his narrative of the, the fantastic vaccine rollout without, um, you know, going into all the fucking things that have gone wrong. You know, the massive fucking death rate, you know, they're handing out PPE contracts to their mates. There's just been so much rotten business going on in that government. Um, and we've just got to keep talking about it because if we do what he says, you know, well, I think we all just need to move on and get on with the business of running the country, then, you know, they're going to get away with it. They, we need to just keep making them accountable. And if we keep shouting and keep shouting and don't get tired, eventually you'll have to be held accountable for it. It's true. It's true. I didn't um, mean to go off on one tonight, but I no. appear to have gone off on one. <laughs> so uh, what have you been doing this uh, this week then to promote the single? I saw uh, a mobile billboard travelling around some... Uh, particular London uh, spots today. Well this this was this was uh, uh yeah this this was uh today's uh today's plan was to just take the Cumper bill up to up to London. Um and we've got a massive a, a massive advertising placard on the back of a lorry saying Boris Johnson is still a fucking cunt. Asterisk out so you know because I, I had visions of us kind of getting into the perimeter of the city and just just kind of ending up at gunpoint and being sent back to Essex. But um, I thought at least that way we haven't actually done anything wrong. You know, people can fucking fill in the blanks themselves, and and uh, and it was great on the A13 up to London. There's people in vans bibbing and giving us the thumbs up. It, it, you know, it, it felt really, it felt like a real kind of wartime spirit. Like lots of people do agree with that sentiment. You know, and we drove around Trafalgar Square and Piccadilly Circus, and people were all taking photos on their phones and giving us the thumbs up. And then we took it down to. Um, the Houses of Parliament, took a little video of it in front of the Houses of Parliament and then finally um, along past Downing Street. It's awesome. You know, it's just, just, just to do something rather than doing nothing. Yeah, definitely. And, and just, you know, getting the message about the song out there in, in creative ways. Well, we've got, we've got to be creative, though, because, um, uh, you know, we've, got, we've had no... I mean, you know, and, and I'm not surprised that we haven't had any TV and radio coverage because ultimately the song's got two of the worst expletives in the English language repeated about 38 times. So I'm not, I'm not bitching and moaning about that, but we have done clean versions of the songs, but they won't play them either because it's a disruptive political message. And, and the BBC, when they announced it on the midweek chart, wouldn't even say who the song was about, let alone what it was about. Um, you know, because, you know, the way I see it is, the government decides whether the BBC get their funding. So they've just become a kind of government broadcasting arm, which, you know, is, is a bit disappointing because I always thought the BBC was to do with fair and even-handed coverage. But what they do is they just leave stuff out. You know, they, they just, anything they don't want people to know about or they think is going to be worrying or upsetting to people, they just don't report. And, and I think what that ultimately is, is a nanny state just treating people like big fucking babies who can't make their own mind up whether they whether they want to go and buy a song called Boris Johnson is a fucking cunt or be offended by it. It's like they don't want you feeling anything. And and when people don't want you feeling anything, it all just becomes a bit one flew over the cuckoo's nest. We all might as well be fucking lobotomized. If we don't feel anything, you know, but they don't want anyone feeling extreme feelings. But fucking hell, that's living life. That's going on a roller coaster. Why why you know, they just want us all fucking drugged up in our nine to fives, content with one holiday a year, working five days a week. But the whole thing's fucking bollocks, but no one ever says it. Yeah. But it's like, it, it, even if it started a conversation of like, you know, say, 
between two people, one that was like, yeah, yeah, I think he is a fucking cunt. And then someone that, that disagreed with that, at least th- they could have a conversation about it if it's being talked about on the radio or something. But if, but, if they and, don't and know... Do you have, no, no, but, the, but this is the thing. He's like, people, I'm not saying all people, but a lot of people are capable of having a conversation. You know, I've, I've had conversations with people on Twitter this week, you know, like one, one woman um, messaged to say, I largely agree with the sentiment in your song, but I don't like you using that word. And we had a conversation about it and both at the end went, okay, well, you know, thanks for putting your point of view across. And like, people can do it, not everyone, but people can people can have a reasonable fucking conversation about things, but we're just nannied the whole time. It's, it's a bit fucking, it does make me a bit despondent, but you know, what you're going to do is you've got to keep plugging away, ain't you? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm, I'm sure, you know, with being called Cunt and the Gang and putting out the songs that you've put out, I'm sure you're used to it to a certain extent anyway, aren't you? I, I am I am used to it. I mean, yeah, it's the 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 name the name I chose to go under became a, a, it was a blessing and a curse because in, in a lot of ways, you know, people sort of knew what they were getting, but in other ways, it meant that lots of doors were kind of shut in your face before you'd even started. You know, and sort of looking back, as I had the chance to over lockdown to go over my my career and back catalogue, you know, most of it I stand by, and it's you know, and 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 I'm and I'm really happy with, and I think a lot of it, not all of it, because it's comedy and it doesn't always, but I think a lot of it really stands the test of time, um, really well, and and I think had I not called it cunt and the gang. And uh, the material hadn't been about wanking in travel lodges and raping paper boys. It would be considered like among, you know, among sort of the top comedy songs. Um, you know, like always look on the bright side of life and, and ones like that. But the, the subject matter and the name of it just kind of mean that it's never going to be considered seriously like that. <laughs> but it, it is what it is. You know, I've, I've enjoyed doing it all and I wouldn't change a, a fucking thing about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I've got here, there's uh, your. Jimmy Savile inspired greatest hits. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> that was that was brought on by a, a, a guy called Skinner who came to my gigs, just knocked up that logo saying "cunt will fix it" and just sent it through to me. And I was just about I was going to go with a different title for that that second greatest hits album. And I just saw that "cunt will fix it" logo and I just thought that looks so good. I could just imagine it on a t shirt. And, and he, he was right; it was my best selling t shirt of, of the whole of the whole. Um, you know, the whole time I was gigging. I, I had one of the T-shirts, and as as you sold it to me at the merch table, you, you were like, congratulations, you're buying a T-shirt you're never going to wear. <laughs> well, at least I didn't missell it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think I did around the house. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've got one that I wore for painting. Basically, it's not the kind of thing you go down to Asda in, because, you know, I like a quiet life. <laughs> yeah. Um, so how can people get involved like with the the, the song? Because like you say, we've got 48 hours. I'm I'm not gonna edit this one or probably just the most liable bits I'll cut out, but um well I'll I don't get... think there's anything I've said that isn't the truth. I haven't no, that's true, gone that's about true. Mike Levis' is micro penis or Mary Berry's hairy Mary. I've I've left them completely out of it. <laughs> um but well, um, yeah. how how can people get involved in the next 48 hours? Um, if you want to get involved in the next 48 hours, there's loads of videos up on YouTube. Just search Boris Johnson is still a fucking cunt. Go and watch the videos. But ultimately, if, if you really want to make a difference, go to borisjohnson.info uh, and download some of the versions that are there. There's there's uh, 11 versions of the song that are all a minute long, which we did for purely you know to, to maximise the streaming and maxi- maximise the sales because we're up against Lab Baby who are on BBC Breakfast and Good Morning Britain and The One Show and just relentlessly promoted by the BBC. And obviously, we've had no publicity. You know, we're just a, a kind of few troublemakers on social media trying to chivvy, chivvy people along. But, you know, it's it's, it's good. There's a, there's a good buzz going on, on on Twitter at the moment promoting it. Um, so, yeah, go to borisjohnson.info and that will tell you what to do. There's a 24-hour... Twitter streaming playlist as well that you can just have on have on quietly as you go about your business or leave on when you go out. Um, yeah, but don't don't necessarily have it on you know, when the <laughs> when the in laws are coming around for 
had wine and nibbles before Christmas. Well, unless, unless you want to start a debate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, put it on. <laughs> but there's, um, like, you've had some big names talking about it. Like you said, there's a bit of buzz going around. I, um, I noticed Stuart Lee in his most recent uh, mail out was talking about it. And obviously you've yes. been on Scroobius Pip's podcast last week talking about it. You know, there's some big names yeah. behind it. Yeah, and, and and also they're all much cleverer than me, which which you know to to have your have your stuff kind of punted out by by uh, by you know some of the great thinkers among the comedy and you know and 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 also they they're just not mainstream arseholes who, who are involved in the relentless kind of media hamster wheel. They're, they're you know just people that do their own thing and uh, and you know plough their own furrow, which which to get some to get some love from them is. Yeah, he's fantastic, and Char- Charlie Brooker as well. Yeah, uh, has, has been a uh, been supportive. So yes, yeah, it's, it's nice. No, that's really cool, man. To see people getting behind it, you know, like uh, people with some clout, you know. And uh, so, uh, have you got anything else planned for the for the next forty eight hours to promote it? Have you got any other big things coming up? Um, I've pretty much done all my beans today in London. Uh, I'm, I'm absolutely fucking knackered, but um, I'm, I'm just going to have to try and pull something out of the bag. Someone did send me through um, a big orchestral version of it um, that, that they've remixed, so that might that might be coming out. Um, but um, the, oh, on, sorry, on the on the on the website, there's also links to the Bandcamp, and so that will probably be a Bandcamp. Bandcamp exclusive that one because I won't have time to get it up on the normal platforms. Yeah, but that, it's great, and and you like there are only fifty p as well the the versions that are up there each each song. Yeah, I've tried to make them make them as cheap as possible so people can go and get the lot for just over the price of a pint because you know it's it's not you know much against some people's ideas of what it's like to get in the top ten for one week. It doesn't make you a millionaire. You don't make millions of pounds off it. And, you know, that's not why I do it anyway. You know, it's it's just just to do so, just to do something and do something good, you know. And um, so if you can do it as cheaply as possible, it doesn't cost people a fortune and, and everyone feels like they've been a part of achieving something that, you know, because fuck me, like, if Boris Johnson is still a fucking cunt like a Christmas number one, it would be talked about forever. Yeah. You know, but... If it doesn't quite get to number one, the media can just sweep it under the carpet and pretend it never happened like they did with last year's one. Although we were a question on the chase. Oh, really? Yeah, it was a question on the chase. So there's obviously some kind of uh, some anarchic subversive uh, question writer uh, for ITV quiz shows. How did, if you're how listening, did, how thanks. did they word that? It was um, which politician i'm trying to remember what our bradley walsh said it which politician was the subject of a protest song in the 2020 christmas chart uh, okay and i think uh because the, they they do get some divs on there i think the woman said margaret thatcher <laughs> yeah 2020 yeah she was the hot topic of 2020 margaret thatcher <laughs> So, I mean, she could have come back as a, as a zombie and people would have liked him more than they like Boris Johnson. <laughs> it is that, isn't it? Where you know a leader is shit when it makes you long for terrible leaders of the past. No, yeah. I've been feeling nostalgic about Theresa May. How fucking grim is that? Yeah, it's like uh, oh. Trump making you miss, uh, like, George W. Bush. You're like, oh, he, he only had a few war crimes under his belt. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's Boris Johnson is a fucking cunt, and he's still a fucking cunt. He uh, sure is. So BorisJohnson.info, go there, check out all the links. I'll, I'll put them all below this video and in the thing on the uh, podcast app as well, so that'll make it even easier for people who are watching nice this to find it. And uh, good luck with it, man. I, I, I think I'm, you know, fingers crossed for you that it all goes well. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, mate. And thanks for having us on. Appreciate it. He lied about his Brexit deal. He lied on the side of a bus. He lied to his wife. He lied to the Queen. He lies to all of us. His government tried to change the law that meant if you protested, they can do what the fuck they want while you will get arrested.
did. The messy calls with his Brexit deal, he passes off as Corona. If you dare a Mitch an empty shelf, you're branded a Ramona. The decorating bill for his flat was paid by Tory donors. He doesn't know how many kids he's got, he can't control his boner. Boris Johnson still, a fucking cunt. Boris Johnson still, a fucking... You have to bow yourself, Mark.